Welcome back to Africa 54. Here's what's trending. It's just another 10-hour day for construction worker Shi Shinwi. But over the past year, the 23-year-old migrant worker has made an unexpected leap into achieving internet fame thanks to the self-taught fitness routines he has taken to practicing on site. During his lunch break, she swiftly pulls himself up into the scarf folding. Then he swings into action, performing a high bar routine as his cousin films from multiple angles using very smart phones. With his lean build and six-pack, she has now attracted over one million followers on Quenshu, that's a mobile video app in China. Plus, he's already been invited to perform on several major Chinese talent shows. Well, and next up, we expect models to be perfectly groomed, but looking this flawless takes time. At the London Beauty Show, one exhibit features a demonstration of a possible solution for busy beauty junkies. Permanent makeup, also known as micropigmentation or cosmetic tattooing, it's considered a hassle-free alternative to applying eyebrow pencil, eyeliner or lip liner every day. It's used particularly by older women as eyebrows can become thin and lips can lose their definition with age. Results have become far more natural but their treatments are expensive and risky. Well, and finally, 3D technology has taken Indonesia by storm in recent years. And now, with the arrival of more affordable equipment, people are finding more commercial ways to use the technology. Sugarcube Studio claims to be the country's first digital company that offers personalized 3D printing to document people's lives, allowing ordinary Indonesians to make miniatures of themselves. Once the client has approved the final look, a 3D printer processes each layer from the bottom up. Relying on Instagram and word of mouth, the studio now brings in an average monthly revenue of $5,400. $5, and that is what is trending today.